In the spring of 2010, PBS Nova was producing a four-part series on materials that included the major topics of stronger, smaller, cleaner, and smarter. High Impact Technologies Battle Jacket product was selected by PBS Nova to be included in its episode on smarter materials. In order to help fully demonstrate the Battle Jacket coating and to be able to witness its performance, it was determined to use actual truck fuel tanks, one uncoated and a second tank coated with Battle Jacket. The fuel tanks were filled. The uncoated green color tank was filled with water. We did not want to contaminate the ground with spilt fuel, although in the NOVA program we actually referred to it as fuel leaking. The second tan colored tank was filled with actual diesel fuel. The fuel is key in helping to self-seal and self-heal the tank wall when a bullet passes through it. The three round burst delivered into each tank was used to demonstrate the coating's performance. A high-speed video shows multiple rounds entering the tanks. Indiana Jones did here. Okay, well, exhibit A, the before example, is uh, obviously leaking fuel all over the place. So you're not so worried about just losing gas. You're worried about some bad guy being able to blow up the whole thing. That's right. All right, now on the tank covered with your stuff. Yeah, you, oh, sorry, you, gentlemen, the yeah, guy missed. Yeah, you fight the holes, okay? <laughs> There's no holes in it. This is a high speed view of a bullet passing through the coating then a lab view of a bullet as it passes through a different tank wall and into fuel. The multiple firing sequence demonstrated the effectiveness of the battle jacket coating versus the uncoated tank. Obviously the fuel loss was significant. And then our belief again is it's much simpler to mitigate an event that doesn't happen. If the fuel's not leaking, you still can use it, and it's not on fire, and it's just a non-event. Non wow. So how soon before you can start putting this stuff on our actual trucks? They're already on thousands of military vehicles now. In oh, so this is no prototype. No, they're, they're actually driving around with this stuff. Yeah, this sure. is active use in the, in the government, in the military right now. Wow. They must uh, they must invite you to the army lunches. <laughs> There's pretty... actually a tanker in theater that has over 600 rounds in it, yeah. documented. And still delivering fuel. And when, when Wait, you said the, the filters? There was actually this many bullet fragments, fragments in there. Just you're, you're saying there's a truck that's got 600 yeah. bullet holes that all sealed up, and the thing's just driving around like nothing happened? That's right. right. <laughs> oh, dude, that ought to be on TV or something. <laughs> Gentlemen, commence fire, please. Satisfied that the battle jacket coating performed as we had been describing, the film crew returned to the labs in Salem for further spray and chemistry demonstrations. Here we demonstrated the robotic application of the battle jacket coating at the spray lab. Russ Monk, the president of HIT, described the process and showed some of the equipment. The smart part of the battle jacket coating was demonstrated in the chemistry lab. The actual micro expansion beads, MEBs, were flooded with fuel, the first with gasoline, the second with diesel fuel, and we watched the beads expand because of their direct contact with the fuel. We also demonstrated another version of battle jacket which absorbs water or aqueous based solutions. High Impact Technology is very proud to have developed a product that helps save soldiers' lives.